Afternoon all. Uh, this is the first Rutzel game of the year. And I am USSR and I've got CIA, which is grazed up. Okay, so we'll open four, four, one in uh, Austria. Yugoslavia is an option, right? With no independent reds. Yeah, we'll go Yugoslavia. Why not? Mix it up. Um, I'm guessing the SOCGov NATO coup is our opening gambit, and then we'll try and ditch CIA before Fidel. So let's do that for starters. Right, so NATO. Gov, CIA, Arab Israeli War Warsaw Pact, Blockade, Olympic Games, and Korean War. So Sokgov is your starter for 10, and they've got Marshall Plan. Oh boy. Nevertheless. We will give it some. Let's hope they don't have um, special relationship if we clear Italy to zero. Only for them to event it. Of course, they have adjacency via France, which is another big problem. But we, we will we'll do our best to sort Europe. You only get one shot. Let's give it some. Four, five, six. Four is perfect. So, yeah, Ritzel starts again, just as Itzel's finishing. I think we've got three games left in Itzel, and the playoffs are a dying dream. But um, we've had a good couple of years there. No big deal. Um, might get to f might get to far in the silver playoffs, where I usually end up, so that's good. So, yes, let's see what the response is here. Uh, moving to Afghanistan's fine. That makes sense. Um, the question is what we'd like to do, I guess. We could tap Iran and then try and get a call from Pakistan if they move in. They don't have Middle East scoring based on their turn one play. The problem with tapping Iran is if they successfully coup it, we're out in the cold. So I guess we also play into Afghanistan in case they want to coup there. They shouldn't. Uh, Formos has gone as well. So we do need to overprotect Italy at some point. Especially bearing in mind a uh, special relationship things it too. Go in for it. Interesting. Do we think they have Indo-Pakistani war is the question. So we will, for now, objectively put two in South Korea looking to convert later. 
a little bland after putting in and not following through. But we still have time to cut with the China card, but I kind of want to see Indo-Pakistani War first. And we have no innate desire to coup and reduce DEFCON. If we keep it up at four and they don't coup anywhere, we get the mill ops. So convert Korea, overprotect Italy, and blockade is a possibility. Well, they're just going for the coups now. Ah, and the false coup on Iraq does the job. All right, we'll finish taking Korea. I think next up is coup, so maybe we won't event blockade this turn because we also want to cover Italy. We can event CIA first though because now there's no way for them to reduce DEFCON. We can watch to make sure they don't play into Colombia and they can't play into Angola either. Well, okay, that's a shame, but they're using influence, so... Well, now we'll give them the opportunity of... ...cooing Cuba. If they do, we will take Lebanon. If they don't... We could have a crack on Panama. Why not? It's a, a reasonable option. Right, okay, they go for it. Okay, we'll take Lebanon. Bit of a shaky start. We're not going to get anywhere in Europe. We're not doing great in the Middle East. Although if they don't get Middle East scoring, we could coup Iran and, and flip that quickly. Not doing great in Asia. Okay. That'll do. Well, Italy's covered against uh, special relationship unless they tap it, then event special relationship in the headline, and then we'll have to respond to avoid it being Truman. But the best case scenario would be something like, I guess, Vietnam revolts taking Thailand. Although we'd be giving up Milops because now in the uh, Korean and Arab Israeli war are gone. We need to win the coin flip on being dealt Indo Pakistani war. No D call, no D style yet, so a bit of an uphill struggle. But we're only on turn one. There's still nine more turns of struggling to go. Ooh, that's a lot of ops to hold back. Okay, well, we got duck and cover at least, so we can space that away. Europe scoring, Middle East scoring. Middle East scoring is not going to get any better, even with a successful coup. 
But via number of volts is probably the headline. Uh, oh, if it gets defected, it's 50-50 to get defected. Still no decol and d-style. So gross. We've got to go Vietnam Revolts. Got to go for it. So Specialized Ship did come out. Yep. Well, we're going to have to use bloody duck and cover as well. What a nuisance. So drop Middle East before Dom, drop Europe for one, event captured Nazi, less rush on Europe as long as we cover Italy. AR6 finish covering Italy. Event blockade or NASA. Pretty gross. I'm very glad we loaded up Italy though, otherwise it could have been even worse. This is going to be a tough game to get anything out of if we don't see D-Colon d, D style at turn 3. This is another fairly lousy hand for us. That's good though. It's pretty tempo avoidant. I would have just put 3 in India. Which, ooh, well, well that wouldn't have leveled up, so yeah, ignore me. Next up is Captured Nazi. God, it's going to be tough to extract something from this. Yeesh. Still, if you don't get some decent deals as USSR and get that steamroller going, you get run over. That's uh, par for the course. We may still be able to DEFCON trap. There's Asia. I mean, that was fairly transparent from the putting into the um, Southeast Asian states, wasn't it? But, you know, that's fine. Uh, hmm. So, a single VP because of the Afghanistan adjacency. We go capture Nazi now. Next up is Europe. Event blockade. Finish with containment over protecting Italy. Comic Con and Suez are the only other two three op cards in the deck. But this is really, really not the best start for dear old Russia. I thought we'd be over in a few days. 
But instead, here we are in the 50s, fighting around in Asia. I are, uh, yep, just splash around there. Uh, we'll event blockade. If if they're holding, we need them to give it up. And if they aren't, if they're like, look, on the bright side, if they're, if they're not holding, right, they just space to go. Uh, they have to give up decal if they've done that. And if not, it means they're not holding it, which means I stand a chance of getting them in turn three. And eventing blockade now is better in that respect. So, stuff it. I expect to see D style go here, or they're not holding D style, or decal, because they would have spaced decal. So, let's see. D style, then they use Comic Con. Good, we unblocked it. That's all fine. And we finish by overprotecting both Thailand and. Italy. Let's see if this comes back to haunt us. They need exactly a four op card. US, Japan, NORAD, Purge. Yeah, we've not seen a single four op card yet in turn two. So there has definitely been some ops disparity, but that's part of the game. Tis not a gripe, tis an observation. Let's get dealt purge and decol and UN intervention in US Japan in turn three then, shall we? That'd be lovely. Plenty of thinking here. There's not a lot to think about. It's going going great for the USA. Didn't manage to snag any mill ops this turn, thanks to Duck and Cover taking Thailand. We are level or behind in just about every area of the board that matters. Haven't developed in Africa and South America. Haven't scored a domination all early war, which is, of course, kind of the litmus test of how it's going for the USSR. So, we're going to need to get dealt decal and D style on turn three. At least decal D style's back in the deck. Could have gone a lot worse. Well, there we go. I mean, they didn't get to jam Italy. That's good news. Panama and Costa Rica gives us a coup target if they lower Defcom. And um, we got D style and decal and purge in the. Uh, in the shuffle, which means they got uh, defectors. Let's not forget that. But that could have gone a lot worse for us. An Indo-Pakistani war. Oh, yeah. So we got about the nuts deal. They are holding defectors. My inclination is just to use NASA. Right. We got Purge. They got US Japan. Oh, I've made a mess of this. So smooth. Right, they're holding defectors. And NORAD. And UN intervention. I am holding Indo-Pakistani war. Decol and Suez. Yeah. Okay. So what are their likely headlines? NORAD is a waste of ops for them at the moment with Canada where it is. 
US Japan is fine, but you know, they're giving up an op. So defectors seems likely. They know we've got defectors, we know they know they have defectors. I think we're still priced into giving them a boring headline, which is still NASA after all that talk. Okay, and we save a VP, but no more than that. And on that basis, and it having scored, we go for Panama. And almost get there. Ah, oh dear. But next up is D Col and D Style. Ooh. D Style first, I guess, because we want to clear out Romania before Independent Reds. Yeah, that's Panama retaken. Yep. Okay, D Style. Uh, Angola, Mexico, Venezuela, Chile. Yeah, that's fine. We can hit them with D call to follow up. India was a consideration, but we could always play into Burma with D call to effect more or less the same result. I think we'll probably hold five year plan, given that CIA is gone, and try and use the remaining cards. East European unrest, we could splash. We're effectively transferring. European influence to elsewhere in the world. So probably no space this turn, especially as we're not likely to double space. So let's try and sort out South America. Okay. Well, okay, we can take both. We're Venezuela and two in Mexico. And if they tap, we can continue to press the advantage in South America. So East European next. We probably won't use Inner Pakistan anymore unless they move into India. Well, if we get Hunter and the power cards and a juicy coup on Panama, Central America scoring, South America scoring, we can turn the deficit round. But we are... We're not quite the steamroller that's gotten lumbering. We're definitely playing catch up. Still, it'll be what it has to be. So we know they've got US, Japan, and NORAD. So they can continue to have cracks at Venezuela. Okay, setting up rear lines on Cuba and Mexico. That's that's quite savvy. Let's uh put them to it. They have to use a high op card. They want mil ops as well, so there's a reason to disoblige them as long as it doesn't Really horribly backfire for us. Oh, well, that's a good start. So they're holding US, Japan, NORAD, and UN intervention. Uh, no, blah, blah, blah. we'll take the coup first. We'll coup Mexico to begin. Both give adjacency. Actually, Cuba for Cuban Missile Crisis, I guess. Ah, oh, garbage. Uh, 
Oh, well. That's a little frustrating. Just going for Mexico, though. That now works somewhat in our favour. Could have gone worse. Got to make him want it now. And I obviously missed one of US, Japan, Nord, and you and intervention in the earlier terms. Because they are not holding that card. Oh well. Ah, there's Norad Doi. Okay, so they're holding exactly US Japan and that's fine. Okay, yeah, all that all that could be worse. Shea would be nice. Hunter's pretty good. Uh, we're not likely to see more ops than that in uh, a lot of games. Hmm. We'll go, Hunter. Oh, big pitch coming here. In the headline phase. I would expect to see Lone Gunman and South America and Africa scoring amongst these to do it in the headline. There's Lone Gunman and Central America scoring. Uh, South Africa and Portuguese Empire and Korean War. Yep. Okay. Well, with the access we've got, I guess the question is, what do we now do? Given that we've got turn one as well, I think we'll put two in Mexico. Coup Panama. Fail. Doi. And now put one in Haiti. Oh, that's a brush war target. We won't do that yet. One in Haiti. Two in Chile. And because I can't find a place to immediately put a fourth op, I'm going to roll that back and put one in Haiti. I suppose one, two, three, four. No, we're going to go for control of a, cu a country they might have got a scoring card for. We're going to do the same in Africa. We will take Botswana. And we're going to try and vigorously attack unscored regions, because now we've lost Central America as well. Going around the other way. That's going to take a little while.
Got the scoreline buffer to do it though. We've really got not a lot. Could play three into Greece and then socialist governments remove them from Turkey to try and start an ops war in Greece, but they've got the head start. Here it comes. Oof. Oof. Oh, oof for them. Please miss. Okay. So we get a coup off on Guatemala. No one, please. Oh, greed. Greed, greed, greed. Bear Trap will be off to space. Wonder if they'll go for another rear line now. Oh! Very interesting not to uh, play grain in the headline. You gonna get something back or are you gonna just shorten the hand? Hmm. Fancy's purge. Of course they do. Nice big coup. So they're going to want one. Brazil is obvious. If they do coup Brazil, I guess we're forced to coup Colombia, which is a bit of a tempo knock. UNI on. Che, of course. Big coup on Zaire. Interesting, I would have gone Angola to protect South Africa, but to each their own. Bear traps to space. And fails. For liberation theology, we're going to go one Cuba, one Nicaragua, one Guatemala, just to kind of frig up their realignment attempt. And then AR7, I suppose we need to put another one in Italy. Although Truman's gone now. So where's that going for it? Ah, pow. We'll forget Mexico for now, with it having scored. That's enough. Mischief. It's 
So last up, we redominate Africa and cover Italy. With Lone Gunman gone and Central America now not being a nice swingy target for us. Still a little bit back here. Holy ops, Batman. Oh, that's rubbish. The one in Italy could have gone in Sudan, I guess. If they flip Nigeria, we have to see if we get hit in the headline with Africa scoring, which would be rubbish. Keen to get into Peru, I guess. A, brush, a successful brush on Argentina. Puts us in a bad way in Chile. Ugh. Or in Nigeria to prevent it being flipped. Both of those probably. We will see. If they flip it and we've got Cote d'Ivoire now, a coup on Niger Nigeria is viable. And there's very little DEFCON dropping now. Duck and cover. Cube missile crisis, I suppose. So actually, a few. Thankfully, they only had a two-up card. They're holding purge. And where did it go? India and Bolivia. I'm fine with that. Okay, so what ways do they have to monkey in the headline? Missile Envy, ABM Treaty. So South America may not be all that. Got some four-up cards. Uh, Brezhnev probably isn't playable for that reason. If they miss LMV us, we give them nuclear test ban. So actually, ABM is the only real. Brezhnev, U2, Muslim Rev, Nixon, Panama, Africa, South America, Cuban Missile Crisis. They're going to purge us, right? We saw them headline it. We'll headline South America. Miss LMV. Excellent. So we give them nuclear test ban and it's now DEFCON 5. <laughs> A successful coup. It tells us. But we can trade coups now in Africa and see if we can squeak a domination there. Well, that was 
somewhat fortunate interplay, all things considered. Cult Rev on Nigeria. Angola. Ooh, and it's a big coup. That that frigs up our hopes and dreams. We need a three or higher here, but we've got to go for it. Nice. That's that's higher than a three. So next job is over protect Nigeria. Hopefully before they get to it. ABM Treaty is the only 4-op card in the pile. So they'd have to use Purge. Slash, sorry, they're holding Purge, of course. They'd have to use Purge or ABM to flip Nigeria in order to overprotect it against me using a 4-op card. Although we're running out of unscored regions, Africa is definitely the playground of the superpowers right now. So I kind of, yeah, I expect to see a flip of... Uh, of Nigeria here, and I may have to use the China card to flip it back at this point. Uh, Voice of America is another way to deal with that very handily. Yes. Okay, well, we can coup there, and if they play into Nigeria, we get a go on Zaire. Of course, it would have been nice if the coup was slightly higher. Although, I guess they can play into Zimbabwe, can't they? Nigeria and Zimbabwe. Uh, I should probably find out where else they removed me from. South Korea. Yeah, okay. That's less problematic holding the China card. Goes for the coup and makes it much higher. Thanks a lot. Oh, this is so bad. If we coup Saharan states, we're just telling them to play into Nigeria. Now we don't get the realign. But the coup on Cameroon is failing 50% of the time. I guess we need to gamble. We're at that point. Ah, oh, well, the gamble paid off. Now we're just going to end up in a coup counter coup back and forth, I think. So this is a bit of a nightmare scenario because we need to avoid domination. Ugh, God damn it. <laughs> 
Oh, Africa's going to give up a boatload of points. Nope, okay. We've got to give up Africa domination now. Man, that voice of America was crippling. Uh, Space Nixon, repair Panama, hold Brezhnev. Is going to be my turn end. Um, Europe's definitely ahead. But it's not as bad as early war indicated, to be fair. That doesn't do a lot because Sadat's coming in anyway. Just VPs. So we will space nix them. Excellent. But we're not going to space another. Oh dear. Dear, 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 dear. What a game. Standard. If they realise out of Cuba, we've still got access via Nicaragua, so it's currently not an attractive prospect for them to do realigns there. Guess we'll be getting purged next turn. The deck is very blue. Quagmire, De Gaulle, Arab, Israeli, and Willie are the last cards, and Arab, Israeli doesn't even trigger now. ABM and Brush War still in the pile. Those are huge power cards. And we got... Uh, neither of them in our hand as well, so that's bad for us. Puppet... Special relationship, emit, Formosa, garbage. Alliance is currently worth zero, that's nice. It's unusual. And Olympic Games. Uh, so, Southeast Asia scoring fails where they use ABM Treaty. I think this is a Brezhnev hand, right? To try and get more value out of all these two and three op cards. It's not going to get much better. And if they purge us, at least we neutralize. Yep. Oh well. Let's make them have it. Where's the last one going? Overprotect Brazil. Chile has a lot more influence and we can do stuff in Argentina a little more, I think. Make him have it. Well, so special relationship is definitely unplayable. I'd rather, rather use a mitt. We might get two spaces away because Formosa is a bit flaky too. Puppet governments isn't great. All of these cards are rotten. Blah, blah, blah. All these cards are bad. Mm-hmm. 
Well, that's something. But we don't have. Here's another three up card. So we've got to give up the China card. That's garbage, but so it goes. And they may have Yusuri, which is going to do a whole heap of damage. ABM2. And brush. Oh, man. Okay. We got Hunter, I guess, but otherwise we got basically zero of the power cards. So let's drop Southeast Asia scoring now. Before potentially a brush roar on Thailand or something makes it a nightmare. And we've used the China card now, so we can store more cards. If this misses, please. No. Okay. Uh, we'll space specialize ship. It's the worst of the bunch. Please hit. God damn it, Ross Cosmos. You have no idea how much I need those ops and points and things. So yeah, puppet governments and emit. Emit? And what's left? I uh, know. We we definitely use emit because there's no red cards in the pile. Good. That's a bonus for us. A small one. Let's coup with emit on Guatemala to get our mill ops and to threaten access to Mexico again. If you pulled a goal from this pile, you've done well. Or is there a reshuffle? Yes, there has been a reshuffle. So we'll see which of these they've discarded, and then we re-add the discard pile. So we use Olympic and Willy and keep Formosa and Puppet. So I don't know what we're praying for exactly. If we can get South America scoring in the reshuffle turn seven and war games in turn eight, we could squeak a win. Or if we saddle them with uh, Lone Gunman, but now Culture Revolution's gone and they've got the China card, that's going to be a lot harder. And of course, they did ditch to call. Oh, here we had discards. Ditch to call and brush war. And we can work out some of their remaining cards. Nuclear subs, two in Mexico. Yeah, that's fine and to be expected. Are we just cooing around the board? Yeah. Make him fill. So ABM, Yasuri, Lads, John Paul, Colonial and Kitchen Debates are still unknown. Whose hand they're in. Oui. We would be very lucky. Oh no, they reshuffled. Oh. Would they keep now? They probably ditch ABM, so they're probably holding ABM by virtue of the fact that they didn't ditch it from the emit pile. I don't know why you'd want 50-50 cards when you're more or less up there. That's good news for us. Mm, John Paul not eventing in the late war always strikes me as a bonus. We'll snag a VP. There's not a lot else we can do with two ops. But yeah, we are hard up. Um, to be fair, a successful coup in Africa levels up there. So... Coup in Africa plus Muslim Revolution is another gambit which might work. Bleh. 
that's not going to help us one little bit. Well, <laughs> this is really not good. So, I think they hold ABM Yasuri lads in kitchen debates. I might be wrong, but at this point it almost doesn't matter. We are so far behind and having such a, a heinous time of it. I mean, Asia scoring is almost the headline, but there's two ways they can screw with it, so it's not. So we will go socialist governments. Yep. And we're going to need to get um, Asia scoring off before they dominate. So that's also bad. So this is probably the inflection point where we go from a little amount of hope to no hope at all. But it's been fun up till now. And we're going to have Space Voice of America, so that means we have to play puppet governments and defectors, certainly. course the hilarious temptation is something like uh take france with opec after socialist governments and press for a a defcon 5 realignment on west germany for control but that ain't never happening although of course with cultural revolution gone and them holding the china card europe controls kind of our closest way to win <laughs> which is tragic and depressing in so many measures If they coup Thailand, we drop Asia scoring in the headline, definitely. And we are limping to final scoring where we lose. So, that's all fun and games. With the China card, maybe greedy, maybe thinking Argentina. Ah, okay. Keeps Defcon up. Ah, yes. We don't quite take France with a four up card, do we? Um. I guess the coup on Thailand is the safest. Does a one fail? Yeah. Uh, I think we just ditch Asia scoring and then we can coup counter coup wherever they go. Count our blessings. Not that we have many. We're going to have to use EU for the ops, and we're going to have to do it before next turn. So coup counter coup coming up. And then we try and get off to space before they do. We may have a speculative crack on India with... Ugh, gross. In which case, we'll go off to space now. 
keeping DEFCON up for coup counter coup. And of course, Ross Cosmos fell at that, so we'll miss the 2 0 square next. That's fine. W why worry about it now? You want to save all those rolls for a close game, and that is not what this one is. <laughs> Ugh. Oh man. The kicker would be if we don't get Dell War Games next turn and it's like there is a world in which we could have snuck there. Ah uh, well. So it goes. Oh, I mean that's a bonus for us in a way. Although they can retake France with it, which isn't shabby. But we were never going to genuinely compete for it anyway. Oh, bold. We don't need to coup Columbia yet, do we? So let's have a speculative crack on India. Wee Small Mercies See this is good because it also gives us some impetus on Mill Ops without a um changing DEF CON. If we can induce a little bit of panic here. There's still the War Games South America combo to snag in a dream world. Jamming it. Yep, yeah, you can get you, you can get it back with your Siri anyway. So what do we want to do here? Overprotect Thailand and overprotect the rest of Asia. Looks like Formosa is going to be our hold card because we need that to go to space the turn after. That's protecting a scored region. But they've got Yasuri. We know they can take the China card back. But it'll cost them a turn to do it and we can overprotect some more. At this point, we're not winning the game that way, are we? Let's take another region. Put them under the cosh. This is much more aggressive. If they want to event Yasuri to take the China card to work Asia over when it's already been scored, at a time where I'm not going to win in final scoring anyway, I should actually allow them to make that mistake. Here we go. Ah, going non battlegrounds. How intriguing.
So we'll counter coup Nicaragua. Please a three or higher. <laughs> that is not what that is. Ah, oh, boy. So now we're going to get our ass realigned out of Cuba. That is pretty rotten. But we can coup Nicaragua again. With the added advantage that... If they play into Cuba, we may we may get them with or um, Ortega. Mm -hmm. No surprises there. Where else is good for you? Yeah, that's good. Well, from domination to behind in two shakes of a die. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Thanks a lot. Okay, well, we'll coup Nicaragua. Well, that was garbage. But yeah, we're still... We're still pretty much only winning here by South America war games, I think. One route to victory, especially with DEFCON high. So there's one unknown card. Yasuri Lads and Kitchen Debates is in their hand. But it's soon going to be playable kitchen debates for VP. It's getting that hairy. Those rear lines in Panama were even, weren't they? Yeah. Ah, uh, well. Uh, first one. Okay. Well, at least we get three VP. But that's not so good. Fortunately, we have a three up card. And can repair it. Uh, and they're holding Yasuri, Lads, and Kitchen Debates. So I'm guessing Event Yasuri to take... The China card back. So there's a gambit here. War Games plus South America is viable, is a route to victory. It'll take something of a miracle because they also need no scoring cards, etc. So, but a sliver of hope remains hope. Ooh, bear trapped. Nice. That ain't shabby. South American War Games. Be good, be good, be good, be good, be good. Be good. Uh, we got one of them. So, Quagmire is our headline. So they don't get any benefit. Ow, for... F <laughs> well, now we're toast. Oh, it failed. There's something. Please, 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 out in one. Ow! <laughs> this game is not going to help me one little bit. And they're out in one. Bloody brilliant. Formosa next. Just leave me in for the rest of the game. Yeah, this is fine. Yep. 
We are smoked. We now lose Chile and Argentina, have no way for domination on the board, no way to get scores with war games. The jig is up. Uh, we've got UN intervention, so I guess the Iron Lady is better than Solidarity. Not by a lot. Well, there goes your ball game. I suppose we should use the China card before they get to snatch it away with Yasuri. On the other hand, I suppose we should make them have it. It's probably a reason to not use it, I guess. Hmm. Uh, so, South Africa, two into South Africa, one in Zimbabwe. To undominate Africa before we have to ditch it as a scoring card is our next line. But if we'd have got out that trap in one, we could have repaired Argentina. And there would have been something in the game. But losing two turns to it was absolutely the death knell. Absolutely rotten. Blech. Oh well, at least the game has been pretty uniformly bad for me the entire time. Just a sliver of false hope is all I've gotten. Warsaw Pact, okay, well, at least we can... I suppose maybe we need to be greedy on... ...pushing for domination. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we get we get a bonus uh, bonus influence in Argentina. That's nice. Unlikely to make all the difference. I suppose here we'd prefer them to drop Central America scoring over doing anything in Africa, but... Okay. Lucky. Africa scoring for one. Whew. So, next up is Event Liberation Theology. Oh. 
Of course. Uh, one in each. Okay. So if we make it through the turn, there's still time to have a massive coup on Argentina, score South America scoring and score war games, but it's still hmm, improbable. I guess we give up the China card. If we don't see Yasuri go, we use the China card next AR. So we can use you an intervention to get rid of a nasty US card. Yeah. Asia's scored and we're, we're losing in final scoring, right? So what does it matter is the question. And... One in East Germany. And now if you hammer Asia, it doesn't matter because Asia scored and we know we're losing in final scoring anyway. So we're looking for a big four-op card of any colour. A massive coup on Argentina and score South America scoring. And if all that lines up, we're there. Alternatively, massive coup on Mexico and fill Cuba. There's still time for Iranian hostage crisis and terrorism and stuff if we're lucky. Oh, but we've just given up 2VP to Milops, haven't we? Doi. Yeah. Oh, well. We gained a battleground, so I suppose it's a wash. Come on, give me some Latin scoring cards. None of them. Not a bloody thing. Terrorism doesn't do a lot, but it's probably our headline here. Yeah. And now Europe is problematic. Going to go for the real honesty rather than the coup? No. Okay. Oh, that's a bonus for us. Okay. Let's see where how far we get with this. Big coup on Peru coming up, I think. Oh, well, a slightly more boring coup on Colombia to begin. Benelux here, yeah, fine. Can't have both rear lines. Don't be greedy. We might lamentably need to snag arms race if they don't counter coup here. Yeah, okay. We'll take arms race. Are you going to drop a scorer or are you going to do something first? Um, yeah. Asia doesn't matter at this point, does it? <sighs> yeah. We're... Oh, we now can't hold bloody war games. Four, five, six. Oh, actually, we can if we space five-year plan and use Nixon. We're going to have to hold war games. Five or a six here, please. A three. Garbage! Uh, 
Oh man. We are simply not winning this in final, right? But at this point, fuck it. I'm, yep, yeah, sorry. Uh, I am finally resigned. War Games is a pipe dream. But that now allows us to ditch. We can new an intervention kitchen. Oh, Kitchen Debates is currently dead. Well, not to you, Flip Thailand. Mm hmm. You and Intervention Kitchen debates. <laughs> Story of my game, Sunshine. Um, and you, AR7, we've got to take another coup on Peru. So now we definitely are not winning in final scoring. The key will be trying to squeak out turn 10 AR7. <laughs> oh my god. We have been absolutely hosed by the dice in both the trap and uh, cooing in the last couple of turns. Gets Milops, standard. Might as well missile envy them, right? That's always fun. <laughs> uh, big card. Big coup in Argentina, please. Oh, well. Okay. This game is hopelessly lost. But we'll start with Kuhn Argentina, which is not good enough. Yep. We are absolutely smoked here. That was a oh a four right, yeah, whew, not bad. Uh, che first, coup in Nicaragua, moderately successful. <laughs> oh my goodness, absolutely lousy. Yeah, just getting greedy for VP now. Right, let's look at your hand. You've got South America scoring, but you also have Aldrich. Yeah, okay. Bloody hell, absolutely sodding inching towards the plate here. Right, they also have North Sea Oil and the Reformer, as well as Aldrich. So, oh yeah, of course, sorry, all those ones as well. We're under purge. That's a delight. So can't actually use the China card to take Japan either. Okay, if they can ditch North Sea Oil. <sighs> if they ditch North Sea Oil, we can sting them with Latin American Debt Crisis because then they can't ditch Aldrich and score South America, but that's still quite a long way away. So a China card coup on Peru. Five or six, please, at last. A three. 
total and utter crap. Uh, yep, it doesn't matter. So we'll coup Peru again. Give me a six, a three. Are you going to use North Sea Oil? Although at this point it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, yeah. <sighs> we were absolutely toasted all over the board. Still, hung in there till final. Yeah, and, and can actually pull that shtick on them. So that's a bonus. Very entertaining. Can't quite, because we never got influence in any of those other battlegrounds, do anything to gain domination, though, which is kind of crap. Well, thanks for watching. Definitely lost. Uh, yeah, I'll give that up. No problem. Well, good game. Good game. Well, thanks for watching. Let's hope that that's um, pretty much all of the complete mouldering in its all, roots all, sorry, that I'll have this year. Made final scoring. <laughs> right. Oh, I've already said that. Oop. Okay, so let's get out of here. I'm going to go cook some dinner. Thanks for watching. Always fun. Let's hope that we've um, purged ourselves mostly uh, and we'll see how things go for the rest of the league. But thanks a lot and bye for now.